Good evening and good evening. I'm Zanchi Kick, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 4. After that extremely difficult, tiring, exhausting battle, we'll continue with the story. Though I will make one note that I just realized at the end of the last episode, but I didn't say anything. We know nothing about who we're fighting. And I'm just comparing this to the original Valkyria Chronicles. We used to see their generals discussing, um, talking about battle plans. You got to see their characters. You get to see how this guy, you get to see how the prince would act. You got to see how his loyal servant would act. You got to see how this one kind of like laid back guy would act. And you'd see that in battle too, by, based on what he would say. But you would also see it in their discussions. You also saw how the strict general who truly believed in what they're doing would act, loyal to the end, or loyal to the cause to the end. We don't have that here. We have a we have one random tank commander, general, whatever, invading, following his gut. Now we have these two running around, going he 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 ha ha ha, and I don't like you. That's it. I, I mean maybe they I need to play parts two and three. To see that if they change that to there too maybe I don't know. But I kind of miss the fact that you could see both sides to the fights. And you could get an understanding of, okay, here's why they're doing this. Okay, here's why they are doing this. Like, one book that does this really well. I only read the first book is, um... Oh my goodness, I forgot the title. What's the title? Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. <laughs> um, Dune by Frank uh, Herbert. Classic book. A lot of people have read it. Read it if you ever get a chance. If you haven't read it already, it's a great novel, a great story. Um, but in that in that story, you could see things from everyone's pers perspective. The main character, the antagonist of the story, the antagonist's followers, the main character's followers, the some of the civilians, some of the other people that you meet later on. You know, you get to see things from their side. You get to see why they think they do, why this person thinks they do, and it's actually very fun and interesting. And I feel like the first Valkyria Chronicles come achieve that, maybe not in the same um, depth as Dune would. I, I would never say that they're the, they're as good as Dune, because Dune is actually really really good. But they still achieve that in some way, shape, or form by showing the generals how they are, how they act, their personalities. Why they're doing that, why they think they do, their thought process on why they're following the war in this direction. We don't have that here, and I kind of miss that. Don't get me wrong, this is still really good. I really like this. It's just, I think I prefer just to see things from the villain's point of view. Not villains, but the other side's point of view. But either way, we will continue with the story. Sorry about that rant. Not rant, but sorry about that um, conversation, but I had to get that off my chest. みんかんじんの皆さん、クレバスに気をつけてゆっくり進んでください。よかったわね。センチュリオンへ収容許可が出て。ああ。軍事機密の塊みたいなこの間に民間人を入れるなんて。That's <笑> That's not what he's talking about, Riley. What Ross is saying is that guy's acting weird. It might be a plant. That's kind of the direction where he's going. He might not think that far, but he's like something's off about him. We should maybe keep an eye on him. That's what Ross is basically saying. Riley, why do you think he's hitting on women? He wouldn't say that so seriously. Arigato. Oh, 
しろもう少しで暖かい部屋に入れるんだはいありがとうございますカイカイどうかしたのかあいや何でもないひどく痩せていたから心配になっただけだそうかならこの場は頼む私は禁止区域の見回りをしてくる分かったカイ Why aren't you saying anything? Oh, as I was saying that, we get something. Thank you. I take back what I said. Who are you? Head of the science department. Heinrich Belgard. Belgard to yon de credei. Take up ni kawarete iru. Ikai no kagak shada yo. Watashi no mita de dewa. Kimi wa maari kudoi kudoki monku o konomana yo toko da. Yuen ni tanto chokniu ni iko. クラウス・ボルツ君に私の部隊ゼクス・オールを率いてもらいたいジークバル海戦の責任を押し付けられ実力に見合わぬ補給部隊に回された悲劇の中佐だが私は知っているぞ君はこの帝国内で最も優秀な指揮官だ I don't know I met a few commanders in the first game that were actually pretty good あいにくだが、俺は好みがうるさくてね。女も、部下も。それに敵も、だろう。ファム・ファタールと呼んでいるそうだね。君の予測通り、今は代表洋上にいるらしい。彼らに随分ご就寝だそうだが、今の補給部隊では、二度と相対できまい君がもたらした代表用海岸での艦隊目撃情報は戦局を変えるほどの重要な情報だだが脳細胞の凝り固まった上層部の老人たちは陸を進む船など半信半疑むしろ君の気が狂ったと厄介者を左遷する格好の口実にする始末だこのままでは君のファム・ファタールは連邦を救う勝利の女神になってしまうだろうだが私のもとに来れば代表用のあの艦隊いい正体とも思う存分戦うことができる I'm kind of wondering how they know that it's squad E but then again they probably heard stories and rumors なんと言われようと可愛い部下を見捨てて他の部隊に乗り換える気はねえぞああそうだったな君の有能な戦車部隊アオスブルフ彼らが危機に陥っていることはもちろん知っているだろうねなんだと上層部の老人たちは暴流とはいえ名門ボルツ家の血を引く君に手出しはできないゆえに腹いせとして君の大事なアオスブルフを解体し収容所送りにする算段を立てているとか On the Empire's part, that is stupid Even if he technically failed He is still a very elite general And with a very elite Tank platoon? Are you telling me you have 
Oh wait, hang on, they do have the other guy from the first game, so maybe... N never mind, but... <laughs> but he's with the Prince, so unless they have another good tank platoon that can command them well, then that's just a waste of time and money and resources. But tell me, Bel uh, Belgar, why are you doing this? Yes, I'm, I'm glad you, even though you follow your gut and you have soulmates and women and whatnot, I'm glad that you still have a good amount of common sense and intelligence to be like, why do all this for me? This isn't that easy. There's always a catch. さあ、引き受けてくれるね。うん。部下の命運と引き換えか。分かったよ。お前の口車に乗ってやる。ただし、ファムファタールとの王子にはそれなりの装備が必要だぜ。当然だ。チキンに糸目はつけん。最高級の一品で予想いたまえ。おう、ジョイ。そうと決まれば紹介したいものがいる。紹介。諸君、入ってきたまえ。Oh, this won't be good. フォルセ君だ。彼には君の三本を務めてもらう。飛び切り優秀な若者だよ。ハロー、カイ。そして、ニコラとキアラ。二人はこのカレンラ用紙からは想像できないほどの戦闘能力を秘めている。私の最高
We'll do squad stories first. Legacies left. I believe... Yes, legacies left. Really? These three? あの、ロナルドさん、これからみんなで食事なんです。ご一緒にどうですか。いや、結構だ。またん向こうにいるのは確か印象体のカイゲルとのにライアンドのライアンドのが持っているのは坂瓶かいったいこんなところで何をはあなんということじゃさっきからため息ばっかついてんじゃねえやいつもより老けて見えるぜカイゲル やかましい。年上のあんたに老人まさか<笑> バカモン。耳元で怒鳴るんじゃねえ。雷を貴様。志半ばで散っていった仲間の死を侮辱しているのか。おいおい。俺は別にそんなつもりじゃ。それになんだ。その手に持っている酒は。死者を痛むこともせず、貴様は。どうした。何の騒ぎだ。ミネルバ
ストイックな一面があるというかライアン・フォード噂程度は知っている大きな戦争には必ず現れ勝利する伝説の傭兵 Really? 憧れる兵士は大勢いるがその反面あらゆる国々に恨まれていると聞いた誰にどう思われてようが関係ねえよ俺は俺のやり方を貫くだけだだからさっきもきつい言い方だったかもしれんが俺は間違ったことは言ってないと思ってる分かっている火があったのは私の方だ今は干渉に浸る時ではない見上げた心がけだが聞いたぜお前いい正体と距離を置いてるそうだなそれは干渉に浸っちまってるせいじゃねえのか<笑>頭では分かっている F 正体壊滅その責任の全てがいい正体にあるわけではないだがしかし帝国に蹂躙される激闘の中絶望に打ちのめされる隊長の動国を聞いたあの方のお心を思うととてもではないがいい正体を許すことはできない Wow He's thinking of his commander more than anyone else F 正体のやつってな全員こうなのか大した忠誠心だな F 正体はミネルバ隊長が結成された精鋭部隊みんなあの方には言い尽くせないほどの恩義がある全てはミネルバ隊長のためにそれが守るべき F 正体のプライドだなるほどのじゃがなロナルド一つ聞いてほしいことがあるお前がいい正体と距離を置いていることにミネルバ隊長殿は気づいておったようじゃぞ、uh -oh. えいい争いを仲裁しに来た時にな彼女はお前を気にかけてやってくれと頭を下げたミミネルバ隊長が私のためにいい正体の下につくことは彼女が誰よりも不服に思っておるじゃろうてしかしそれでもミネルバ隊長殿は自分の役割に徹しようとしておるんじゃ<笑>この気泡は帝国のお出ましか話は後だ行くぜ。Yay! We get to fight again. <laughs> Clash? Okay. Will it just be three people again? Engage and eliminate the Imperial forces. The enemy is encamped on the other side of the canyon. You'll be under heavy fire. But before that happens, Ryan and Kegel will break off from us and flank them. So that's Ryan and Kegel. Oh! One's Minerva, one's Claude. Um, Alar, someone to repair the tanks. At least that's what I'm thinking. So, there w a s a c c e s o k a i s i m a s Ye s h o t a i s u g e k i s t e k a s a i I don't know if I need a uh, uh, shot trooper or lancer or what. So, Kaigeru Dono Karakimasta. What does she know to me? 
頭を下げてくださったと<笑>なぜです隊長はいい正体を許しては無論私はいい正体をクロードを生涯許さないただ我々には果たさねばならない使命がある妻子者の悲願を叶える責務がある散っていった者の思いを引き金に込め私は帝国を撃ち抜く<笑>今心にあるのはそれだけだお前にも割り切れない思いはあるだろうが<笑>それ以上おっしゃらないでください隊長私も共に行きます F 小隊の魂は常にミネルバ隊長と共にあり Oh, a heavy tank. <laughs> Is that a medium tank right here? Why is there a medium tank? Thank you, Ryan. Let's take a quick look. Kegel, do you have a clear shot? Actually, maybe not. Glory, go for it. That works. Anything else? Just a big tank there. That's where Kegel can come into play. Maybe. Uh oh. And Kegel's HP is not that great.
Kegel, Kegel, whatever your name is. So let's see who's trying to sneak up. Oh, so I can't... No? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my goodness. Great shot. That was a beautiful shot. Oh, the blower can switch? Flip. That was nice. But the shot trooper, gotcha. With more shot troopers on the way. Actually, can I get there? Too far. Enjoy that. Get her out of there. She's too damaged. Or too injured, sorry. Ah, someone else wants to come by and say hello. Scout or Shock Trooper? Ryan, please return the favor and say hello. Ah, right, too far. Oh, he has buddies. Lots of buddies. And will this shock trooper move? Yes, he will. Ryan, it's Ryan. Nice shot. Oh, glory. Please fire. Actually, that's perfect. If they just stay right there...
scout and someone else. I can't find a shock trooper. I see. Can we never do it? Maybe. Jeez, I didn't know it was going to be that. Oh, my goodness. No! Get her out of there. Where's that? Oh, there it is. We'll bring her. We'll bring her. That blue that. We will bring her back next turn. Turn. Term. <laughs> term, 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 term. I am tongue tied. Kegel, can you see that tank? Yes, you can. That is awesome. Yeah, end the phase. Ryan, why aren't you ducking? Why aren't- oh, okay, thank you. Shoot back. There we go. Allard, for now, try and get there if you can. It's a long trek, but... You're the, the next best thing to stamina. You're actually the only thing there that can run. Actually, you know what? I guess I can't capture it. <laughs> Honestly, I would feel better if Minerva did it, but it's honestly who can ever whoever can reach it.
Actually, Minerva can probably reach it. If he got there in two turns. Or two moves. the snow do, 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 do. that's yours Minerva That is perfectly fine. B rank, yay! Mattaku, Tekoku no Renchu must scoy no! Kotira no Tetaiji on the right, swing a kiss to Kurtoa. Ryan, Teokase, Yatra Oyarazoi! Yeah, or a doyer Kokuma de Mitita. Sakini Kasete Morose. No, because you're one of my leaders. I'm not losing you. <laughs> I like Ryan. これは予想外の救援が来たな。ロナルド、憎き良い正体を助けてくれるのが。目が覚めた。私はエフ正体のプライドを発揮しがいていたようだ。仲間と共に帝国を打ち倒す。今はそのことだけを考えるべきだったの
おおロナルド戦車の整備は終わったかの滞りなくいい正体の整備士も手を貸してくれたそうかいい正体と共に作業をミネルバ隊長殿のおかげで距離が近づいたかきっかけをくれたのは貴公たちだ礼を言わせてもらう I think that's the first time I've seen him smile これからは共に帝国を打ち倒したいよろしく頼むこちらこそよろしく頼むぞいおいライアンあんたも何か言ったらどうじゃうんまあチョコをありがとうよ<笑>バカモンそういうことではなくてじゃなそういえば一つ気になっていたのだがライアン殿は酒もタバコもやらないとかまあなしかしならばどうして先ほどは酒瓶を Actually, that's a fair point. あの酒はなロナルド死んだ F 小隊隊員の献杯のために用意したんじゃえここでは戦死者のためにろくな墓も作ってやれんそのことを嘆いておったらライアンが酒を持ってきてくれての別の戦争に参加した時の戦利品だ俺は飲まねえっつってんのに押し付けられてよそそうだったのかそれにわしは昔戦争で息子を亡くした若い兵を見るたびに息子と重ね合わせてしまう戦死した F 小隊の隊員たちもそうじゃった最後まで勇敢に戦った彼らのためにこれくらいのことはしてやりたいと思ったのじゃすまない私はとんでもない誤解を別に気にしてねえよその剣牌私も付き合わせてもらえないかああもちろんじゃて戦争という過酷な環境にいようと死者を忍ぶことを忘れてはならんそうそうわしが元ガリア軍の叩き上げ兵士である話はしたかの新人教育の教官のようなことをやっていたがその時にな<笑>おいこんな時くらい説教や長話はなしだまた年寄り扱いするちまうぜんまそそれもそうじゃな<笑>しかし最後にこれだけは言わせてくれ新たに刻んだ F 小隊のプライド大事にするんじゃぞロナルドはっ That's awesome actually There's another one? Rival returning to newfound pride. Okay. Legendary mercenary for, for Ryan. Old grump turning to team dad. So. Love and logic, I guess. Okay, that'll be next time. Let me just check headquarters real quickly. I just want to see if there's anything new. You know, either way, we're end things here. If there's anything to beef up, I'll do it off camera. Um, and we'll continue with the next squad story after when we come back. Or in the next episode. This isn't TV. What am I saying? <laughs> But either way, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And farewell.